Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to call get user by ID API from Spring Boot in React. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to add the new icon in the action column. That is an update. Let's go to React application. You can see here the dashboard component. Let me copy this icon button. Let me paste on the top of the delete icon. So it will be an edit icon. Let me import here. Let me add here the color scheme that is a primary. Let's go to UI and you can see here the added icon. On the click of this added icon, we need to navigate the user to the update user page. So let me update the method name that is a handle update. Let me copy the method name. Let's declare here after the handle delete. So it will be our const. We are passing the user ID in the argument of the method. So let me receive here the user ID. And here I'm going to call navigate. So let me add here the path of our update user page that is a slash user slash ID. Let's go to UI. I'm going to click on this edit button of this user. And you can see here the user ID that is a 4 and the update user component. Let's go back to dashboard component. Let me click on this edit icon of this user. And you can see here the ID that is a 6. After navigating the user to the update user page, we need to get ID from the URL. After getting the user ID from the URL, we need to call an endpoint from the Spring Boot application to fetch the user by ID. So let's go to update user component and here I'm going to declare a variable that is a const ID. And we need to use here that is a use param to get the ID from the URL. Let's go to post user component. Let me copy this. Let me paste here after that. Let me update the state name that is a set user and it will be a user. Let's go to dashboard component. Let me copy this. Let me paste after that. Let me update the method name that is a fetch user. Let's go to Spring Boot application. You can see here the URL of our get user by ID API that is a slash user slash ID. So let me remove these codes. Let me add here the back tick and the URL is slash API slash user slash ID. So here we need to pass ID that we are getting from the URL. So we are saving the response of the API into this variable that is the response. After getting this, we need to transform the response into the type of a JSON. And I have saved the response into this variable that is a result. And we need to call here the state that is a set user. We need to pass here the transformed result and we need to invoke this method. So let me add this method inside the use effect. And here I'm going to add the HTML code. You can see here the HTML code where we have a main div. Under this, we have a typography tag with the caption update user. After this, we have a form tag. Under this, we have a different input fields. First one, we have username. Second, we have email. Third, we have phone number. And the last one, we have address. And after the input fields, we have a button with the caption update user. And you can see we have bind the inputs with the use state. First one, we have a user dot username. Second, we have user dot email. Third, we have user dot phone number. And the last, we have user dot address. Let me check the console what errors we are getting. Let's go to post user. Let me copy this. Let me paste here. After that, let's go to update user package. And here I'm going to create a new class that is a update user dot CSS. Let me copy the code from the post user.css. You can see here the code. Let's go to update user and I'm going to import the update user.css file. Let me import this use state. You can see here the warnings. First, we have a navigate is assigned, but the value is never used. Let me comment this for now. And the second warning we have that is a React hook use effect has a missing dependency fetch user. Let me move this method inside the use effect. And you can see warning remove. Let me add the curly braces around the ID. Let's go to UI. And you can see the fetched user by ID. Let's go to dashboard component. 
let me click on this edit icon of this user and you can see here the details of the user that we are getting in the response of the api okay so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks for watching take care